Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial with EC QuickBooks Training. In today's video, I'm going to go through the process of exporting QuickBooks Desktop into QuickBooks Online. So let's get started. There are a few things that you need to do before you export into QuickBooks Online. The first thing is you want to go to your Vendor Center and you want to clean up your vendor list. You want to make sure that you don't have any old uh, vendors that you haven't used for years. You want to clear up any duplicate vendors. You want to make sure that your list is clean. The same thing goes for the chart of accounts. Go through your chart of accounts under list, chart of accounts, and make sure that you don't have any duplicate accounts and that you have a, you have a nice clean chart of accounts list. And if you are using items in QuickBooks Desktop, which would be your products and services in QuickBooks Online, you also want to go through that and clean that up. Close any old uh, items you haven't used and clean up any duplicate uh, items. If you're using payroll in QuickBooks Desktop, make sure that you have paid all your liabilities before you export your file. You also want to make sure that you have brought up your account up to date. So if you're starting QuickBooks Online from January 2021, make sure you're up to date to the end of 2020 and you've reconciled your accounts. So just to recap, you want to make sure that you've cleaned up your vendor list, your items list, and your chart of accounts list. Also go through your customer list just in case you have old inactive customers and you've brought up your file up to date. So now we can go ahead and export into QuickBooks Online. We can go to Company, then Export File to QuickBooks Online. You will get this export window. Now you can try QuickBooks Online for 30 days, or if you're ready to move, you can click Move Now. And then it's going to ask you, um, if you have an account or you need to create one. Now I have an account, so I'm going to select yes, sign me in, and I'm going to click continue. And I'm going to enter my credential. Once I have logged in, I will be able to select the company file that I created in QuickBooks Online so I can replace that empty QuickBooks Online file with my QuickBooks desktop accounts. So I'm going to select it. I want to then hit continue. And then it's asking me, it says make sure things look right. And it gives me the company name. And I say, yes, that is correct. So let's upload. So it's now retrieving the transactions from this company file into QuickBooks Online. So I have received an email saying that my file has been imported into QuickBooks Online and I can go ahead and check it out and continue. So what I want to do is I want to take a profit and loss from the desktop version and I want to compare it to the online version just to make sure that everything matches. So I take the PNL and then I go to the PNL online and I could see everything matches. Of course, you want to go line item by line item, but I could see right away that it matches. Remember how I told you to clean up your vendor list and your customer list um, and inactivate any um, old ones and clean up any duplicates? Well, when you go into the general ledger, you can see, you can still see all your vendors. And as you can see here, you can even see the deleted ones or the inactivated ones in the detailed uh, transaction list. So even though you're inactivating them in the desktop version, they will still be there when you upload them. I hope that this video has helped you. Please don't forget to subscribe for more how-tos, tips and tricks, and troubleshooting for QuickBooks. I will see you in the next one.